Well, the tri-state mayor says he didn't know his own police chief's discipline record until the Nine on Your Side I-Team gave it to him. The I-Team spent months investigating how local police departments police their own. So tonight, Chief Investigator Craig Cheatham takes a closer look at the village of Elmwood Place. I could still feel everything, all the emotions that I felt that day. The last time Amber Key was here, she thought she was going to die. Am I ever going to be able to see my kids? Is this, is this the end for me? This is Amber Key seven months ago, handcuffed on her stomach, right after Elmwood Place police officer Robert McConnell tased her. You got no problems and you was doing all of this to me. Because she refused to get out of her parked car. You're supposed to be protecting and serving and you out here abusing people. Before that, McConnell had asked Key and her husband, Princeton Hingston, and tased her. Tased her for none to pull over after they stopped near him at a traffic light. Vine and Linden, yeah. Key's husband admitted to McConnell that he had just smoked a joint. They say McConnell searched him, told him to get in his police car, then ordered Key to get out. All I was asking was what was going on. That was the only thing I asked was what was going on because I was so confused. McConnell opened her door and said Key pulled it back on his leg, a claim she denies. Then McConnell tased her. I don't understand it. McConnell claimed that since the car engine was running, Ms. Key could flee the scene, potentially dragging me, which could have resulted in serious bodily harm or death to me. Due to Ms. Key's aggressive, assaultive actions, I utilized my taser to render Ms. Key compliant. I saw the whole thing. William Wilson, the mayor of Elmwood Place, says he saw a Facebook video clip of Key closing the door on McConnell's leg. I can tell you right now, if you close your car door in my leg, I'm going to punch you in your mouth. The mayor says the video post was deleted. No, they don't show you that. The I-team couldn't confirm that video was posted. The woman who recorded this part of the incident told us she did not record or post video like the mayor described. This meeting's now in session. Roll call, please. When the village council hired McConnell a year ago, Elmwood Place was the fifth police department McConnell had worked for in less than five years. In every community where he worked, police records show residents complained he was too aggressive and wrote too many tickets. As a Mechanicsburg officer last year, the police chief disciplined McConnell for repeatedly failing to follow orders and for making a false arrest. McConnell resigned. I did not know that, and I could also say... Um, does that concern you? Well, it, it, it does concern me. We're only provided of what they provide us. So if they leave something out, it's disciplinary. Or if they leave a certification out, we do not know that. Well, you should know that. Well, how would I know that I get everything if I, if I put it? Because you can ask for their personnel file from the places where they worked Correct. before you hire them. Correct. Three years ago, before the mayor took office, the village hired former Lincoln Heights police officer David Smack. What he does not need to do is to have a badge or a gun. Michael Glover says Smack tased him in the back, then stomped on his injured spine during a brutal traffic stop five years ago in Lincoln Heights. Glover's story was the focus of a 2014 I-Team investigation. It's hard to walk. Smack denied stomping on Glover's back. The police department defended his use of the taser. Glover sued Smack and other Lincoln Heights officers for violating his civil rights. He lost, but is appealing. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. As a Lincoln Heights officer, Smack was repeatedly disciplined. Elmwood hired him two months after the I-Team story in 2014. In February of this year, Elmwood Place suspended Smack for 10 days after he deployed his taser without good reason in a UDF, then provided intentionally misleading information about the incident. A few months ago, Elmwood fired Smack because he failed to file a report for a woman who said she was raped. He's gone on to hurt other people. I wanted to make sure through what I was doing that that did not occur. That don't last too long here. The mayor says the village doesn't tolerate bad policing and proved it by hiring full-time officers and promoting Eric Bartlett to police chief. Were you aware of the three written reprimands that he had received? No, I was not. Don't you think you should have known that? Uh, yeah, we should have known that. In 2014, Bartlett, then a corporal, was reprimanded for failing to show up for work. 
not securing credit cards of a defendant, repeatedly failing to properly file timely reports, and Bartlett was the focus of an internal investigation after a tow lot owner felt threatened by him. That wasn't in his police chief's file. The I-team finally received Bartlett's written reprimands, but only after repeatedly asking for additional records. How did these suddenly appear? I have, unless there was another file, like I said, we were in transition. There have been files. Are you concerned? Are you concerned about that? Yeah, I'm going well, to check into it. Absolutely. This place needs to be shut down. For Amber Key, the policing in Elmwood Place is the reason she still avoids the village, knowing that just this brief visit with us brought back too many painful memories. It's like reliving the moment all over again. Amber Key was charged with resisting arrest and obstruction of justice, but those charges were dismissed. Four months after the tasing incident, the village promoted McConnell to detective. Craig Cheatham, 9 on your side.